Hey guys, how's it going? This video might be a little bit of a rant, but it's going to be in regards to version 5.0 and what is to come, I guess. <laughs> um, so anyways, I was at work today and I checked my telegram and I saw, oh, you know, people were talking about the new update and stuff. You know, I saw a link to it. Super excited. So I checked it out and this is what we get. So here's what's coming on version 5.0, which is coming tomorrow, I think. Rewarded advertisements are coming to Forge to Fight. Yep, they're going to be adding ads to the game. Okay, um, so from like my personal standpoint, I don't have an issue with companies like adding ads to the game. Um, you know, sure, you know, they're going to give us, what is it? Let's see. So every day in the middle paragraph there, every day that you'll be able to watch three ads accessible from your base screen in exchange for five energy on each. So you can get what, up to 15 a day. And that's, that's even a maybe because sometimes a little bit further down when there are no advertisements available, the button will be gray. Oh no. Check back later and they may be available later. Okay. Um, second part to that middle paragraph was the timer resets every day at midnight. You'll also be able to watch an advertisement upon running out of energy in a mission to gain nine more energy. That one isn't too bad. You know, if you, you know, you need like a couple more steps to get to the boss or to do the next mission, you know, I don't know, click watch on the ad, go use the restroom, come back, um, you know, and you'll be ready to go. That one isn't too bad. Um, the only issue I have with this is where this rewarded advertisements thing, it covers up basically half of what they're talking about in version 5.0. The rest of the stuff isn't really as intriguing either. I think it's more like just general fixes. It's nothing new. Um, <clears throat> but we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, as far as the advertisements, you can opt in or out of them. Um, I think there's, yeah, they said you will this means oh wait, what? you'll never you will never see an advertisement if you don't want to and we'll get something just for watching an advertisement so basically it's up to you whether you want to watch them or not uh, which is fine I guess um, let's see what's new I guess use stash or 13 directly from the upgrade screen if there's room in your inventory you can now use your stashed or 13 directly from your upgrade screen I guess that's fine. I mean, it's nothing major. Some new features. Oh boy, you know, I was thinking, oh wow, well maybe these features are like actually going to be like game changing or something. Nope. The treasury has been removed as all alliance missions are now free to enter. Okay, this should have been removed previously once they made like no donations available to the treasury. So this should have been removed a long time ago, but whatever, you know, it wasn't bothering anybody. It's getting removed. No big deal. Bots that are available but unowned are now shown in the bots menu. Again, this does nothing to improve like our gameplay, I guess. Bot portraits have been touched up and their backgrounds are colored to reflect their class. Wow. Okay, that's what you guys have been working on. Pretty good. Good job. Not too bad. Class advantage and disadvantage is now shown in combat. Why is this necessary? Like... I don't know, I'm pretty sure everybody now at this point knows like, you know, if you're at, at a class advantage or disadvantage against the bot. If not, you know, even if you don't know, it doesn't take long to know. You don't really need an indicator. Um, I feel like that's unnecessary. Rarity is now shown when opening awakening and signature items from crystals. Okay. Because I think previously, like even now, the thing I have an issue with even now is if you have like an excessive amount of like programs in your inventory and they go to your stash, you can't click on. And this same thing goes not just programs or awakening things or whatever. This also goes for like those raid shields. You can't click on them in your stash and see exactly what they are. So I guess this kind of helps since they're going to be showing like the rarity. Like, okay, I have too many, I don't know, three-star warrior signature items in my stash. So, you know, I got to use some for my inventory and it's not a two-star, it's not a four-star. So, don't use those, I guess. So, that's okay. Ranged attacks from a KO'd bot no longer deal damage. Oh my god, it took them like a year to fix this. Literally, this has been 
something that's been going on since back in beta, I remember. Like, you'll kill a bot, and if for some reason they still, like, shoot, like, a range attack for some reason, even after you KO them, and if that... There's, like, that split second where, I guess, the fight is still continuing, and if that range attack hits you, you still take the damage, and... Took a year, but it's finally getting fixed, so uh, that's a positive, I guess. <clears throat> um, bug, fi uh, bug fixes fixed a rare issue that would cause the loading screen to display over a fight. I never got that. That sounds absolutely horrible, so I'm glad that's getting fixed for those of you that did get it. Fixed an issue on the pre-fight screen where bot stats were missing and the selected bot couldn't be changed. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm like 99% sure that has been a bug fix that has supposedly been fixed in like a previous update. So, I don't know, but I mean, I'm glad it's getting fixed again. Um, fixed unnecessary gaps in information on certain panels and pop-ups. Okay, uh, fixed the visual issue on reflected projectiles, fixed an issue with Optimus Primal's heavy ranged being too short. I'm actually glad they fixed this one at least uh, pretty quickly. Usually they take a while to fix stuff, so I'm glad they fixed this within like a week or so, a couple days. I don't remember when Primal's uh, spotlight mission came out or when he became available. I guess it was last week. Fix two causes of gameplay frame rate hitches. Wow, is this going to help out with the lag? I hope so. Performance optimizations, lo uh, localization updates, and bug fixes. Okay, so more bug fixes, which we don't know about. Um, yeah, just summarized into this short thing. Basically, it's just a bug fix and tiny, tiny feature updates, which are minor touch-ups like the portraits, um, the class advantage and disadvantage indicator. Um, overall, like, I'm not really happy with this at all. I know probably, like, the later versions, like, version 5.1 or something, they are going to have, like, some better stuff than this, but I wouldn't exactly call this, like, version 5.0. This is basically, like, what is this previous one? 4.1.1. Let's just call it that. Um, I don't know, but if you go back to this long list of, like, version updates, like, these are supposed to be, like, major updates, and in the past, like, this one, this is 4.0, it came with Act 3, Chapter 3, you know, the new story mission, they added the masteries, new featured, the awakening programs, uh, a lot of fixes, so that one was pretty good. Back to version 3, what did they add? Let's see. They added the new story again. They added battle for bots in the raid events. That was nice. Some improvements. A lot of improvements, actually. And same thing for the rest of these, basically. Version 2 got a lot of stuff. And version 1, of course, you know, got a lot of stuff as well. As well as some character balancing. But overall, I just feel like this is a cop-out update. And... Of course, the next ones after this are probably going to be better, but, you know, this is nothing to get your hopes up about, I guess, especially not after reading the very first thing, which is rewarded advertisement. So I wonder where this game is going now. Um, I don't know. Let's see. We're going to check this out. The discussion thread. We never really go into the discussion thread, but I feel like this is like a pretty good one to go into. Uh, so Kitten Prime, I remember you from some of my comments, dude. Um, where's Act 3.4 asking the important question? It's not quite ready yet, but we don't want to keep you all waiting much longer. Wow. How long have we been waiting for? Let's see. Let's go back to this one. When did... Back in October. How long has it been? October, November, December, January Three months, four months, give or take. It's been a while, and we still don't have Hack 3, Chapter 4, which is kind of depressing. Another thing I want to, you know, add to that is the lack of new content that we've been getting. <clears throat> sure, you know, every month we're getting these spotlight missions, but I feel like even at that, it's kind of stagnant in a way. We've been getting these spotlight missions um, since, God, I don't know when... 
I think before October, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I know the first one was like Galvatron. I'm not sure if there was one before Galvatron, but I know it's been Galvatron. It's been Dinobot. It's been Megatron. Now it's Primal. I don't remember if Rhinox had one. I think he might not Rhinox. Sorry. What was the other guy? Um, Ramjet. Ramjet or Shockwave. I don't remember if they had one either. Um, but I just think it's the same thing every month. And sure, like this past month, they threw in that Bee's Gauntlet mission, which was nice. But we, I mean, most of us cleared it pretty quickly. Um, I don't know. I just, I feel like I, most of us need new stuff or want some new content. And it's just taking a long time. Uh, let's see, let's go back into the discussions. Will my iPhone 7 stop getting hot? and lag after this update uh doubt it let's see nothing yet on that where have they responded to something let's see okay so this guy says advertisements so you say they're optional but knowing kabam they will eventually make them mandatory thanks for your concern we are but we are, aren't going down that path at all the two options you'll have are the two options you'll have are available Available or completely opt-in and should feel worth your time to claim the reward. We play the game too and forced ads sound horrible. We play the game too, they say. Uh, so some of the other bug fixes from my, what I read here is uh, there is a fix for the Ultra Magnus Nullify issue in 5.0, but it wasn't added to the notes because it's a bug which was originally just a typo or something. He isn't, gonna, he isn't meant to have 100% nullified every rank, only at rank 4 and 5. Instead of fixing the typo, we're going to make Ultra Magnus have 100% nullified at all ranks. Also, the B synergy will be, or should be fixed as well. Let's see, let's keep going. Any news on G1 Bumblebee? Nothing yet. We don't plan on bringing him back, but if we do, it's probably just going to be in the same Hive Crystal. Let's see, um... Tell your support team to Mustang John. Tell your support team to play the game, please, so they don't tell us about prestige and other unrelated things to the game. That was a very unfortunate situation, and we have made a point to work with our team. We are very sorry for the confusion caused by all this, and we're not happy with it either. This is actually super hilarious because I've seen some of like the emails that you know some of my alliance members post um, whenever they email support. It's absolutely abysmal. Like I would literally like. I don't know. It would drive me insane having to interact with people who have no idea what they're talking about, who don't play the game at all, who have, you know, no idea how to reply. It's just a bunch of automated messages. And, you know, even if they do, you know, some people are helpful, but majority of the support staff don't have any clue, like, probably what this game is. Um, let's see. What is this? Um... Alright, I guess the rest is just talk about the uh, G1 Bumblebee's return. <clears throat> um, but yeah, guys, I think that's going to be it. Hopefully you guys are super excited for this new version 5.0 update. I know I am. I can't wait to get home, be able to play all the new content, be able to watch all these rewarded advertisements, get 15 energy on a day, get 9 more energy on a day, and I'm just going to be waiting for midnight. You know, while I desperately stare at that gray button because I won't be able to watch more ads. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on this game. Uh, or not on this game, sorry. On the version 5.0. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and hopefully we enjoy version 5.0 and see what many more bugs it brings about. Uh, have a good night, guys. Bye.